Um, but in my field specifically for me, I haven't used it, nor have I actually felt affected by it at this point. Well, so with accounting, uh, so not to just no, to no. jump in very quickly, it has not taken hold yet as far as I've seen. Um, but I do see I do see a lot of potential with AI, especially with bookkeeping. Um, the remedial task, as what Timmy said at the beginning, even though I look at it in a negative light, you know, overall, but I do see some benefits as well. But mostly, but it hasn't sort of taken hold, but mostly bookkeeping, um, data entry, I think that's where it'll, um, you know, make a big difference, AI. It'll sort of affect people's jobs and in a way make other people's jobs more efficient. But in terms of, you know, AI is not going to be able to give you the tailored advice that you need. Because one thing with accounting, there is not one situation that is the same for any two people. So that your advice, your work has to be tailored to that person. So I'm sure maybe in 50, 100 years, well, according to Timmy, maybe in the next five years, it'll, you know, it'll do everything except probably build your house. But um, it hasn't sort of you know, taken a big hold yet with accounting, but it will in the future. And Timmy, I'll let you speak to that because I know you probably feel the opposite. But just real quick, I mm. wanted to ask you, how long have you been in accounting? So I've been an accountant since 2000. So I finished school 2004, um, six months into uni. So 2005, you can say, I've been working okay. in the accounting field. Um, uh, like, you know, where I knew what I was actually talking about probably since 2006. So I would, that's what, 17 years? So I don't know the details of when, and I don't know if you guys have the same programs in Australia, but in the US we have programs like TurboTax and these websites where you can go in, especially if you're just a W-2 employee, that's what we call it when you're just getting a pay stub yeah. from your company, and you can just input your income, your taxes, things like that. So when things like that came out, did you feel that that affected? Okay, um, no, it did not affect. So even though they, there is those programs in Australia where you can do your own tax, Australian tax law is very nuanced. A lot of people have crypto, you know, a lot of people might have an investment property, they have interest shares. in the bank, shares. It becomes a bit more complicated to do it yourself because you may not understand, um, you know, uh, how your tax return is being lodged when you don't understand those investments. Also in Australia, a lot of people expect to get a tax refund. So when they jump online and they say, oh, I owe tax, oh, maybe I should call an accountant. Cancel, cancel. Yeah, cancel, you know. So that's where it's sort of like being a negative because... It's like I jump on, I've paid 20 grand in tax and I've still got to pay tax. What am I doing wrong? And a lot of times it'll be, oh, they've got some interest income that hasn't been taxed. They might have received a bonus that wasn't taxed correctly. So then they need a professional to explain to them why they owe tax. And, you know, is there a way that I could potentially bring it down? Mm. So it actually hasn't affected. But then again, it has affected too. Why? Because I could maybe be doing 20% more business. Even though, alhamdulillah, I'm doing decent business, maybe I could have been doing 20 or 30% more. So I'm sure there has been a small effect, but I haven't really felt it because Alhamdulillah, you know, the business has been doing well the last few years. They come because they have wanted to save $1,000. They had to pay yeah. and they end up paying only $1,500. <laughs> well, well, I don't look, charge that much for an I'm individual. Gonna, I'm going to yeah. tell you, right? So there are a lot of jobs, probably in the next five years, that are going to be heavily impacted. Ten years, even more. By 20 years, we will not... Most of the jobs that we know will not exist, right? Now, AI is, as I said... Right now, you can, you know, and so when, when OpenAPI came out with all this, uh, you know, tools and all that, quickly a lot of development companies, software companies leveraged AI. So now you don't need to go to a graphics designer. You can go to, you can go to AI and some of these companies, uh, software, and they can create you any images. You can create videos now. Right? You can create logos, right, images. Right, we used AI to create our logo. Yeah, right? So You can create anything. Um, I've asked, uh, you know, chat, you know, now it's in, the, it's in its earliest forms, but soon you won't need software developers anymore. You'll, uh, you'll tell the AI you want to build something, a website or an app, whatever, and it will build it for you, right? Um, cars in the future will be AI-driven, right? And you won't need to own a car anymore, right? They'll just be cars. You just, on an app, you call for a, a car. It will come pick you up, take you to a place, all automated, no drivers.